Now, look, I want to ask you, there was quite a worrying incident took place over the South China Sea. The US military have released a statement saying that a Chinese fighter jet conducted an unnecessarily aggressive maneuver during an intercept of a US spy plane. Is this an indication that tensions are escalating? It is, Shari, and it's another instance of repeated unprofessional behaviour by the People's Liberation Army over the South China Sea. We've seen it uh, both uh, over the water and in the air, and we've seen it um, in relation to US um, assets, to Canadian assets and Australian assets, where they've engaged in dangerous manoeuvres that could cause uh, an accident, and who knows uh, where it would go from there. Then the last thing that we, any one of us need is an accident that spirals into a crisis. And so the irresponsible activity that the PLA has repeatedly engaged in is incredibly irresponsible and raises the temperature in the region at a time in which we should all be seeking to lower it. No, exactly. Now, what do you make of General Jack Keane's warning that there could be massive cyber attacks from China? Is this something that Australia is anticipating as well as the US? He's right to be concerned about this. Last week, the uh, Australian uh, Cyber Security Agency, Australian Signals Directorate, joined with all of its Five Eyes partners to publicly attribute an attack on a US critical infrastructure uh, facility in Guam. Now, the reason why that's important, and I questioned the Signals Directorate about this in estimates last night, is that it is very reasonable to assume that if they had that presence on a US critical infrastructure network, that they're also seeking or may indeed already have that presence on an Australian critical infrastructure network. Now, there is no innocent reason, there's no innocent purpose to be lying dormant on the critical infrastructure network of a potential adversary. The only reason you would do so is to engage in first espionage and second, to be able to engage in sabotage if you choose to do so in the future. So the warning from the general, retired general, is absolutely on the money. So does Australia need to take action then to make sure that, you know, China or other hostile actors aren't lying dormant on our critical in infrastructure? We absolutely do, and the good news is that we are. It was a big part of the rationale for the Red Spice funding in the mm. former government's last budget in March 22, a $10 billion investment in increasing the, both the offensive and defensive okay. capabilities of the Signals Directorate and also the critical infrastructure legislation which we passed, which requires entities that are vulnerable to these sort of attacks to step up their investment in their own defences. Um, but we can't afford to be complacent. This is a constant challenge.